this this is gonna be fun some of these i really didn't even know about but they sound so cool this is such a, this is exciting hey friends welcome back i am Venetia, your cyber security bestie and this is such an exciting video in this video we are going to be discussing jobs that you or we until now didn't even know existed in cyber security the one job that i might explore Mm, I think I'll keep it to the end of this video. So stay tuned to see the one that I might explore and definitely leave a comment with the ones that you find interesting. And what do you think about these jobs? So first one up, let's move from the ethical hacker to the ethical hacker concierge. Fancy new title for an ethical hacker? I thought so too. But in actual fact, this role makes total sense. So this is basically where ethical hackers will pivot from just doing hacking and penetration testing and all of that to actually using their skills to help organizations define strategic kind of technical solutions to solve the hacking and cyber crime problems, right? Having said that, that sounds to me like rainbow teaming a little bit. Um, but apparently it's supposed to be more bougie and more advanced than rainbow teaming. So if you're an ethical hacker looking to kind of move into a more strategic kind of architect role or anything like that, then maybe stay tuned for the ethical hacker concierge role because maybe that's the one you've been looking for all this time. Number two is the cyber security storyteller. Now, this one, this one, I must say, this was a very intriguing title for me because I was like, okay, what are we talking about here? You know, what is the, what is the whole cybersecurity storytelling component? But basically, it is to actually educate people about cybersecurity, um, but build a, an emotional picture behind it and an emotional connection behind the story and the education that you're trying to give people. So this is more for people like writers or um, kind of uh, even HR professionals that want to move into a different space in cybersecurity. A cybersecurity storyteller might be a good option for you. Um, now to me, if I was to map this to some like a role that's already in the industry, I would map it to kind of the security education and awareness space where the storytelling component to that just becomes a little bit more alive. So almost like social engineering, but in a good way. Number three is the encryption guru. Now to me, immediately when I saw this, this is definitely what we need more of. We, I think we're definitely gonna see an increase in professionals that go into the cryptography space because we need their help to secure our data, right? We need more and more advanced encryption because encryption is going to start being broken and compromised and you know, it's it's a whole story. So for me, this one is definitely, I think it's the cryptography professional, but just in a more kind of familiar and advanced space inside of uh, cryptography. Number four is the autonomous network security defense specialist, right? That was a mouthful. Basically, the role of this professional is to use tools along with artificial intelligence, machine learning, um, and kind of their human eye uh, to find cyber threats, indicators of compromise, um, kind of risks and all those things. Now, to me, I mean, I feel like we do a lot of this already with like UBBA and SIM and SOAR and so I feel like this uh, network autonomous network defense specialist really understands these technologies and the advances in these technologies and they understand the automation component better because today we have network security specialists and they're really really good at the network security side and brilliant minds and all of that but they can't necessarily slot into the space where the automations have to be developed and improved and all of that. So I feel like 
um, that really kind of covers that gap where we have the network security people, but they have a level of kind of understanding all of the advanced technology concepts and they can build the automations and they can really, really lean into the AI and machine learning side of things. Uh, with the tools that we already have. So I think this one is semi already there. We have semi already got kind of the developer role lined up to meet in the middle here with this one. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments if you are a network security professional specifically. Let me know what you think uh, about this role. I am very interested. And before I get to the last one, which is the one that I may explore sometime soon or in the distant future. If you made it this far in the video, then it definitely means that you are enjoying this video as much as I am. So definitely leave me a like because that helps me out. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then click, click, click. It's free, it's easy, let's go. Now for the final one, the final role is the virtual reality security architect. I mean, that kind of has a ring to it. So this role is actually predicted for developers who are looking to get into the security architecture space. And these developers will design virtual reality environments that will actually securely train people on how to use technology and avoid kind of your common pitfalls and anything uh, that they are susceptible to today. So it's actually designing this entire VR world that will train people to be better internet users and it will train organizations to configure security a little bit better um, inside of their organizations. I think it is such a cool and exciting role. I think it is a little bit in the future but not too far and I think we should not be sleeping on these roles. All right, friends, that is it for this video. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and please leave your thoughts in the comments. And if you are looking to learn more about the different roles that are already existing in cybersecurity, then you should definitely check out this playlist over here where I have listed a few of these roles and deep dived into them to make them more familiar to everyone. Catch you next time. Bye.